Hello, you guys, and welcome back. <clears throat> I'm getting ready to do daily message for you guys. Um, <clears throat> makes no difference when you see it, though. They are timeless. Um, a tarot reading is <clears throat> valid whenever you find it. Whenever you run across it, it should you're being led to it for a particular reason. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I just put on a piece of blue turquoise that helps the throat chakra. Trying to eliminate some of this gravel I got going on today. Um, we do have the flashlight set up back here. Um, I am not going to touch it. Some days I mess it up and it has been working. Getting ready to do daily message here. I'll let that one go. And that one. We are going to be in some intense energy for a little bit. We are under a Saturn retrograde right now. It came in on the 23rd. The 26th, we have a full moon. Lunar eclipse happening. And on the 29th, I believe, Mercury goes retrograde. We got shit happening all over the place. <clears throat> now, the really cool thing is, depends on how you respond to it. You can either let something happen and make it into some kind of catastrophic event, or you can go, all right, let's roll with it. I choose to roll with it. All right, Spirit, I think I need one or two more jumpers if I could. There we go. <clears throat> This is what the energy is all about. Four or excuse me, four swords. <clears throat> Y'all up in your head way too much. Get the hell out of there. Stop overthinking things. I said it was about how you respond. If you're thinking about it too much, you're going to worry about something that isn't even there. Okay. Now the four swords is also about some healing that's required so that that doesn't happen any longer so you're not up in your head so you don't have that anxiety that that feeling in the pit of your stomach <clears throat> uh let's see let's see what's next let me see what's next who do i want to who do i want to hit you with we're going to go with the two of wands <clears throat> this is also the perfect opportunity and the perfect time to put forth some prayer the two is about setting intentions. It's about the beginning. It's about coming together and starting something fresh. It's a very part, beginning part of the cycle. One, two, three, okay. Um, it's about reaching your own, your full potential too. You've been reluctant. You've been holding back. I think you've been sandbagging. Matter of fact, I know it. Here we have the judgment card. That's about giving something another try to. Calling, uh, calling forward um, some ancient energies. That's Gabriel in this trumpet right there. Calling forth the resurrection. Um, so something, you're going to give something another opportunity. And I hope it's the fact that you change, you're changing your, the way you see things, the way you respond to things, the way that you react to what has happened. <clears throat> we have this seven of cups that comes up. Now, this is a prime example of it, you can either call it confusion and chaos, or you can make it out to be um, divine opportunity. Take a look at those cups. Each one has something different. Um, one has a person. One in the top center there looks to be a, a ghost or a spirit. We have a snake. Uh, there's a laurel wreath down there. There's a crystal sticking out of one. All kinds of jewels. A dragon or a serpent. I'm not real sure. It looks to be a serpent, maybe. <clears throat> but 
But all of those things can, they can either be looked at like, eh, well, there it goes. Shit happened again. So much going on around me. Everybody's doing something. Um, or, you know what? I'm going to change. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to change the way I look at that. It's not chaotic. Um, I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick a focal point on this whole situation and that's going to be the way I aim. It's going to give me a new direction. It's going to be a new opportunity. We have the five of cups that came up. <clears throat> Bam! All about change. And it, it's going to be change in a good way too because you're going to walk away. You're not afraid to leave something behind. That's what it, step five here is all about. He's got a couple things behind him. He's sad it went this way. Sorry things fell apart. Very reluctant to move forward, but that change needs to happen. <clears throat> we have the Seven of Pentacles that also came up. That's about taking this time to work on yourself. Yeah, just get that, sit down and hammer away at you. Do your shadow work. Do your positive affirmations. Do what nurtures you. Take care of you and yourself. Self-care is, is a prime time for self-care. Go float a local creek. Get an inner tube and float. Uh, get a kayak and float. But work on your own self-care right now. Work on yourself. <clears throat> Um, the Wheel of Fortune came up in reverse. That just means it's being held back a little bit for you. Um, that's okay, because we're dealing with these planetary energies that's happening, you know, and occasionally all hell let, let's loose, but that's okay. We're, we're going to roll with it. All right, we're going to roll with it. Because once it's a little bit of energy out of the way, then the Wheel of Fortune is going to roll in like it should. And it's going to bring about those opportunities. Uh, then it's going to bring about that positive change. We have the Ace of Cups that came up. Um, a good sign that there's abundance coming for you too. I think it's how you're starting to look at things. I think it is the abundance is now in the fact that your your own personal perspective has changed. You're no longer looking at the cup half empty. You're looking at it half full. In this case, it's overflowing. My cup runneth over. As you, as you believe in the abundance, you will get it. <clears throat> we have the Hermit card, and that is about you spending some time in reflection by yourself, hanging out with your other two favorite people, you know, me, myself, and I. Sometimes it just needs that solitude uh, to help you pick and sort through some thoughts, but the enlightenment is going to come. Could be a Virgo in your life that you're dealing with, um, but the enlightenment, that's what that lantern is all about, shining a light. And it's what's going to come about too. We we're in that, getting into that full moon energy and there's going to be a lot of things come to light during this time. All right, swap into another deck, get some clarifying energies. By the way, if you guys like this video, please drop down, hit that like, subscribe, and share button. So if you would, if you're wanting to book a private reading with me, contact me over at Tina Beecher, Psychic Medium, at Facebook. Um, the links are down below in the description box here. All right, Spirit, kind of get some jumpers here. All right, got it. Sometimes they come out a chapter at a time. <clears throat> it is what I saw coming, though. It is what I saw coming. <clears throat> you know, somebody's dealing with it. Um, <clears throat> a little bit of a disappointment. We have the Hierophant here. Came up in reverse. You were hoping that this connection was going to turn out to be solid 
uh, with this person. I do kind of feel that this might be a romantic re uh, connection or a love interest. <clears throat> you kind of thought that this connection was going to go the distance. It would end up in marriage, a happily ever after. Didn't go that way. We have the magician that came up. And the magician is all about... The magician can make things happen, but they can also make it appear like things are happening. The magician in this case, I feel like whoever you are that's dealing with this and this may resonate with you, this person was a little bit of a chameleon. Um, they could smoke and mirrors, they can make things look like one direction, they could be another way, they could blend in with other groups of people. Um, there was a lot of a lot of deception I think going on here too. Now this one's going to set you back on your ears for a minute. <clears throat> we have a devil and the lover's card came up. Take a look at them. The depictions on most tarot decks are very similar. This was a toxic connection. This could also be somebody that was codependent. You help them feel better. They needed your attention. They needed your undivided, um, undivided attention. You had to nurture things for them in order for them to stay happy and content. You had to bolster their ego from time to time. Now, the lover's card <clears throat> tells me that it was a deeper connection than what you may realize. This person may, uh, chances are they were a soulmate, but more than likely they were a twin flame. And a twin flame is somebody that you disconnect with and eventually come back together with. Didn't finish something up in a past lifetime and you get a couple opportunities down here to try to make things right. Don't end this on a bad note. <clears throat> um, be the bigger person. Offer as much kindness and love. This is a six of cups. Don't be resentful. Don't be um, nasty. You know, don't go on their Facebook and put ugly comments. Don't post anything on yours about them. Do it the right way. Hold your head up this time. When you're separating your connection with this person, do it the right way. Always leave a wake of love and light behind you. Not a wake of travity, travesty and heartbreak. All right, you guys, there you have it. That was the daily read. I hope it resonated with somebody. I hope. Uh, we didn't get much response out of the light this time around. But I never leave you guys. So I don't bless you with love and light. See you soon. Oh, missed. <laughs> what a day. Happy full moon.